Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Jonathan's Bad at Games where it is time to open our monthly loot crate. Yes, the uh what's the what's this month, May? The May loot crate the May loot crate has arrived. I'm really flubbing up my words today. The May loot crate has arrived and I know I waited last time to open it, but this time I was just too excited because I had so much fun opening it the last time that I really wanted to get to it. So I'm not going to wait this time. It seems that other people upload way before spoilers happen, so sorry guys if you don't watch this. If you don't want to know what's in it, I don't put it in my thumbnail, so there's your warning. Spoiler warning if you are getting a loot crate and you want it to be a surprise. I'm going to see... This one's bigger than the last one. I was surprised. Like roughly, the other one was like, roughly, kind of like in that area. So let's see what's in here. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Before I, this month's theme was unite. Last month's theme was fantasy, and this one is unite. I don't know what the next the next one is. Let me look that up real quick. Actually, I don't think it yet tells me what the next what the next month is. I don't think, I'm hoping that wasn't what was on there wasn't what's in the box. Oops. I don't think they posted better. Anyway, so this month's is Unite, and we're going to see what's in it following this month. It looks like we got another t-shirt. This is, oh, it's the Power Rangers. I, I watched a lot of the Power Rangers as a kid. Man, this is cool. And the green and the white ranger was always my favorite even though there was some kind of like they're the bad guys or something i always thought they looked cooler so that, that's pretty that's a pretty cool t-shirt those were my favorite power rangers followed by i think the red ranger because he was the leader or whatever but my tastes have probably changed not that it matters anyway because probably the show is dated compared to modern day standards of what i'm into it looks like we've got are these what is this oh shoelaces for uh Marvel shoelaces, um, a loot crate exclusive. You can only get this if you get the loot crate. Um, not really sure how I'm gonna use those yet because I don't. I usually wear slip-ons. I think I've been wearing shoes with laces lately, but they're dress shoes and they're work shoes, so I don't know. I actually don't even know how to lace my shoes. Anyway, we got shoelaces. Pretty dang neat, if I do say so myself. Ooh, what's this? We got a. Rick and Morty puzzle, which if I believe, or if I remember correct, if I know anything at all correctly, Rick and Morty is like a comedy web series. I'm not sure what that has to do with Unite because I've not actually watched it. Apparently it's also got something to do with Adult Swim, but it looks pretty funny. I don't remember who it looks like. Well, I think it's supposed to be like a parody of the, obviously the, uh, a, what is it? Back to the Future. It, rem it reminds me of Back to the Future in terms of design. It's got like the old scientist guy and the guy named Morty? Rick? I don't know which one's which. It looks like we also have with us an ice cube tray for the Avengers. That's pretty darn cool. I <laughs> accidentally used a, a pun there. But yeah, it is a Marvel ice cube tray. Since the introduction of the Fantastic Four in 1961, Marvel has been created exciting ever-expanding universe of heroes known and loved the world over. Special edition correct. Collector's Ice Cube Tray features characters from the power-packed pages of the Mighty Marvel Comics. A great item to chill with, this Ice Cube Tray is more than just is a must-have for any fan who's uttered the words, Make mine Marvel. Enough said. Not sure what any of that means. I'm not a big comic book reader. Not that there's anything wrong with comic books. I just, I personally don't read it. And I don't, apparently it's not the Avengers. It's just Marvel in general. So that's pretty neat. I might find, I might convince mom to let me stuff that in our already stuffed freezer. Oh, we got some Team Fortress pins. Commemorative pins? I don't, collector set of pins. You got the red team, the blue team, the sandwich, and the unicorn from the, uh, is it a the pyromaniac pyromaniacs like little uh what he does he does the rainbow gun or whatever in that cut scene i think is what that's from i don't do a lot of team fortress stuff i'm surprised at how little i know about all these nerdy things because 
I got the first set, and I was like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. And now I got the second box, and I'm like, I barely know what any of this stuff is. So I hope that's not a recurring theme for me. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of pointless for me to do these, I guess. What is this? A decal auto coolant for the car? Is that what that is? Is that what a decal is? All right, it's, an age, it's an Avengers Age of Ultron decal, which I believe goes in a window of probably a car. Auto coolant. Is that another language for decal? I'm just going to say it goes on the window of a car, probably. But I don't have a car, so <laughs> won't be using that. Okay, then we got the we got the Unite booklet again, which is like the other booklet. It's got what's in here, so that's pretty cool. I'll read through that afterwards. We got the Unite pin for Loot Crate May 2015. It's got Batman and Sh Superman, Superman shaking hands. That's pretty cool. I'll put that with my other one. Don't know where to keep it, but yet. I haven't found a place just yet. Looks like we've got a special Loot Crate edition of the Mad Magazine. This little small... Oh, a small magazine from the makers of Mad with the guy's smiling faces. That, that's supposed to be the guy from Game of Thrones, right? Maybe? Or is, No, that's Aquaman. Okay, yeah, that's Aquaman from the new Aquaman movie. The guy that plays the Dothraki or whatever his name is, that's, he's the Aquaman. That's why I got him confused because they look pretty much the same. That's pretty. Nope. Oh, I dropped something. I dropped the pins. I'm really, I'm really bad at this. And the other thing that it's got is, it looks like a comic book. Number one from Cartoon Hangovers, The Bravest Warriors. And that's pretty, I actually know what The Bravest Warriors are. I watched the episodes of those that are on there. So, like, I, I am definitely going to be looking at this one. I'm super... That's so cool. I don't know if it's actually a comic book, because it's got them holding loot crates, and that would be awfully meta of them, but I'm going to assume that it is a comic book. Uh, Ten Years, Boom Studios, Kaboom. It's got a number one on it. Nothing on the back. It's hard. It's a, I think it's a comic book. Should I open it? Is it going to be worth something someday? Are people going to be mad at me? Eh... We're going to open it. We're going to see what all this fuss is about. See if it's actually a comic book. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's nothing. There's actually something. I don't know what this is on the back. Just Oh, I know what that is. It's just a piece of paper. Probably protecting the back cover, of course. And it looks like it is, in fact, definitely a comic book. And it does not look like it follows the animations currently online unless I missed unless I haven't watched it since it updated but yes this is definitely I'm definitely going to be reading this oh they've got other comic books that's cool anyway yeah so that is what was in this month's loot crate let's see what the boxes pull here to start reading what is this supposed to be uh oh assembly instructions huh Pull here to start. Visit lootcrate.com slash unite box. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Okay, so apparently this is a weird one. Well, I don't know that it's... I haven't had enough boxes to say that it's weird for par, but according to that... Which I, I don't know if I want to cut my box, because I like, to store thi I like to store the things in it if I don't have the time. Or the... Not the time, but the, uh... I don't have a place to put it just yet. So, I'll show you guys what it's supposed to be. So basically, you you pull the doors out, the sides, if you can do it. Okay, yeah, you pull the doors out, and you flip those around. Like, like that. Oh, oh, chaos, entropy, destruction. Like that. Oh, no, yes. Oh. Mm. Okay. Let's calm down there. Let's let's settle ourselves down. And then you prop that up. You're supposed to tape the sides 
with the corner pieces that you cut off of the top here. And then you also you cut out this bench and you pop out some holes here and you put like a bench here. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Obviously it's got the red and the blue the red and the blue doors on the sides. There and there. But it's also got a bunch of other stuff, so I don't know if it's like exclusive to the to the uh uh, the, uh, I forgot what the game is called already. Team Fortress 2. I don't know if it's exclusive to Team Fortress 2, but it's got stuff from all the stuff that was in the crate in there. But again, I use the crate for storage, so I don't know that I'm going to break it down just yet. But yeah, this, this month's was a pretty good box. I think it's pretty cool. Not a lot of wearable stuff. I didn't get another bow tie. I didn't get a crown. My other crown kind of deflated. I didn't do anything to it, it just deflated. Now I'm making microphone noises. But anyway, that is the, this month's Loot Crate box. So, if you enjoyed it, be sure to look into it for yourself. See if it's something that you would like to get. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Go on with your bad selves and stay awesome. Goodbye.